Okay, we're going to go through the process of inserting a SketchUp file into our project so that then we can use that data that we've already created. So um, I'm going to show you the steps. Um, I'm not 100% sure it's going to show this dialog box, but let's have a go. So you'd come up to File, down to Insert, and it'll bring up uh, your uh, Explorer. Um, I've got a project here I'm going to select and put in. There's a lovely photo of me there as a bonus for you. Uh, and I click open. We wait a couple of seconds and here we go. It's dumped in this project. So what you'll see is that there is a looks like an image really uh, in here, but it actually has data um, inside this um, about the model. It's, we can use it like we use the model in SketchUp as well to a degree. We can't add any new data to it, but we can move around within it. Um, okay, so things you might want to do, select it and then change the boundary. So I can just grab these blue handles um, and move it. You'll have to wait, depending on the file size that you've inserted, you might have to wait a little bit for it to refresh. I can also just um, hold down my left mouse button and move it around. And I could also double click on it. And you'll notice that the cursor's changed now to this orbit tool. And now I can hold down my left mouse button and move my mouse and I'm able to orbit around. It's not that smooth because there's a bit of data in those trees in this one. But uh, yeah, they're the main things you're going to want to do at first for putting in a drawing um, not to scale uh, as a perspective going to go through the process of manipulating our inserted SketchUp model viewport um, so that we can do things like change the scale, uh, look at saved views, um, uh, we might do that in the next video actually, and uh, set it up so that it's orthogonal and doesn't show depth. Um, so let's get to it. So. The panel, the panel that takes care of most of this is in this tray, usually. Um, it's this SketchUp model uh, palette. Uh, if it's not available to you, uh, come up to Window and you'll find that if it isn't ticked here, you can just click it and it should appear for you. So you can see at the moment that it's a pale grey, which um, it, it doesn't have a lot of information in there. Um, the reason is it, it, it tells you about a inserted SketchUp model. Um, and for us to know which one it's talking about, we need to select it first. So I'm going to left click on it. And you can tell now that it's selected by this blue border around the outside. And the information's updated in here and it's not grey anymore. It's ready to edit. So the first one we're going to look at is this button here that says ortho. It stands for orthogonal. And uh, what it is telling us is that it's um, going to take the depth out of there. An orthogonal view takes perspective out. Um, so I'm going to hit this button. And we'll leave it some time to adjust. Um, and it's turned my project so that it is facing um, side on and just let the computer catch up for a moment. Um, the next thing that we're going to need to do is scale it. So it's taken us a distance away. What we can do here is come over to this current scale section and change it to something that will reflect the application that we want. So I'm, I'm on an A3 piece of paper and this side is only about seven meters across so I'm thinking that um, one to 50 or one to 20 is probably going to be around where I want it so yes we can go a little bit more let's try one to 20 and there we go and um, takes up the majority of my page so I could move my uh, boundary here 
one thing that you'll want to do that I didn't do, um, didn't check was this pre preserve scale and resize um, tick boxes check. So what happens is uh, if this isn't checked and I start to move the um, outer boundary of my window or viewport, um, it'll resize and go out of that scale. But I want to keep this at 1 to 20 because it might end up being some type of technical drawing. So I'm going to make sure that that's tipped. All right, the next one I'm going to look at is this standard view section here. So it's going to allow me to align things a little bit better. This is just a, um, based on how I saved the file, the view currently, um, uh, back when I drew it in SketchUp. So if I come here, you can see that we've got some standard ones like top, bottom, front, back, left, right. So I'm going to try front and hopefully that gives me the right view. Yes, that's it. So what it's done is it's aligned me out the front of my project now so that I don't get any perspective, but it's teamed up with this orthogonal button to do that for me. Uh, we're not going to worry about shadows and fog at the moment. We'll worry about that in a later project, but these are the main steps. Um, putting orthogonal on if you wanted it um, to not have uh, perspective depth, but you might, um, then you're able to scale it and choose a view to look at. 